Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of Propanity with me, Akin. So this is December, that means Christmas is around the corner. I decided to make something Christmassy. Initially, I wanted to make Santa Claus, but I don't have fat dolls. Well, I could make this one fat with epoxy sculpt or something, but eh, I'm not going to do that. So instead, I decided to make Steve Claus from the movie Arthur Christmas, I believe. When I was looking for reverence pictures of him, I found a lot of people made sexual fan art of him. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, can y'all like watch porn like everyone else does? I don't fucking trust people who lust over animated characters, okay? Those people those people are are weird. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I did was, well as usual, removing all the doll's hair. This time it was kind of hard because the last time I did it, the hair wasn't glued on the inside but this one was. So I took some time to, to remove all the hair. Once the hair was removed, I used 100% A-Stone to remove the factory paint and trust me, it works a lot better than nail polish remover. Using a tissue, I wipe the body using nail polish remover. When the body and the head were set, I paint them using acrylic paint with a little bit of medium to decrease the brush stroke. It only took me about two coats of acrylic paints to get this color. And because of this, I'm never going to use that soft pastel method ever again. That shit was fucking tedious. So, no. I gave the body two layers of MSC before starting to blush it using... What's that called? Soft pastels. I always forgot words, I don't know. English is not my first language, okay? This is what it looks like after I blushed it. Did I give it nipples? Yes, I did. Also, I gave it uh, the final spray of MSC. Now, this part is unnecessary, but if your doll gets knocked around, I really, really recommend it. I water down some gloss varnish and give the body a coat of it. Moving on to the face, I gave the head um, three initial coats of Mr. Super Clear before starting to blush the face with soft pastel. After blushing the face, I gave it a layer of Mr. Super Clear to save the progress and then Proceed by sketching the face using watercolor pencils. For some reason, I decided to give it facial hair because I thought it's appropriate. I mean, the original Steve Claus has this Christmas tree silhouette goatee, but here in my version, I decided to give him sideburns and mustache because it's my version, I do what I want. After giving the head a coat of Mr. Super Clear, I defined the eyes using acrylic paint. With black acrylic paint, I add the pupils to the eyes. Now 
not forgetting to add those little white dots that make everything better. Now that I got the face finished, I sprayed it with Mr. Super Clear to keep everything intact. Moving on to the hair, I painted the scalp gray because the hair would be gray. He has this undercut hairstyle so I flocked the lower part with fluffy bits I got from making wefts. Using watered down glue, I secured the flocking. He looks like a balding ass bitch but he'll get better. Here I already made some wefts, learning from the god of making doll wigs, Mosekito. I glued the wefts directly to the head. Here's what it looks like after I covered the head with wefts. He looks very luscious, but we're not going to keep that that hairstyle. So with a pair of scissors, I trimmed it. His hair is crazy looking right now, but with a spray bottle filled with water and a toothbrush, I fixed this problem. Here's what it looks like after I styled the hair. I botched some of the flocking, but that was an easy fix. Moving on to the clothes, he has this red and green camo pattern jumpsuit, so I painted the pattern on a piece of red fabric. The jumpsuit also has these Christmas trees all over it. One Christmas tree consists of two trapezoids on the bottom, and then a triangle, and then a star on top. I already made a t-shirt and using its pattern, I made a few adjustments to make a pattern for the top part of the jumpsuit. Here I'm making the pattern of the pants. Keep in mind the width of the top part and the width of the bottom part should be the same. I got the patterns for the top part cut out. Now what I'm doing is making only half of each part. These are for the labels. So the shoulder parts individually first. I traced the pattern again like this to make the top color. I measure the circumference of the neck hole and make it the length of the pattern of the color. The finished pattern should look like this. It looks like two trapezoids facing each other. I made two pieces of the color. I 
I saw the color to the pieces I made earlier, one for each. Here's what it looks like after the colors are sewn. All that's left to do to finish the labels are to join them together by sewing them, right side to right side. Before turning it to the right side and do a top stitch, cut every corner so everything can lay in nice and flat. Here's what it looks like after I top stitch it. Now I can attach the sleeves and the sides and the top part would be finished. Here I got the t-shirt finished. The jumpsuit as well. I got one side of the label fucked up though. Eh, whatever. Now let's work on the shoes. I believe these were monster high shoes. Mm, I don't care. But it had holes so I took care of that first. What I did was gluing section per section the inside of the shoe and then shoved a piece of fabric in it to cover the holes. It's okay to be messy with the glue because once it dried, it's gonna be covered with paint, which is what I'm doing here. With silver acrylic paint, I painted the soles of the shoes and added some details. I gave the shoes a coat of gloss varnish for extra protection. For the belt, it's actually just a white elastic that I folded over and sewed it with zigzag stitch and turned it into a loop. For the buckle, I painted a piece of craft foam with silver acrylic paint and then craved a Christmas tree on it. Now that everything is done, time to assemble it all. So here is the finished doll. It was actually my first time making dolls clothes and styling dolls hair. Gotta say, they are a pain in the ass. It, they were fucking hard to do. But I'm pleased with the result. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe if you want to, and happy holidays.